Hi, my name is Robin Sage, and I'm an energy reader and healer that specializes in medical intuition, which means I work mostly with health issues and healing them. <clears throat> a client of mine recently told me that she had really bad digestive issues, and so we did a session together. And what I saw I thought was really uh, interesting and in that it might benefit a lot of people to learn about this. So when I looked into the cause of her digestive issues, I saw that she was um, having a strong reaction when coming across people who are different than herself. Maybe they eat differently than her or <clears throat> they have different beliefs, uh, different ways of living, um, just anything different what she was doing I was kind of going ew like Ugh, um, I don't want to be your friend and so she was taking these people and excluding them from her life putting them in a different category um, this person talks like this so I don't like them and I don't want to be around with them this person eats this and so I don't want to be around with them this person uh, swears so I don't want to be around them whatever it was, and so there's a lot of this um, segregation happening, energetic segregation and exclusion. And this was creating a tightness, a stress in her body and completely creating a dysfunction of the digestive system. And if you think about it, the digestion, I can barely say the word, is all about um, processing life, how you process life, how you process food. You take it in and then you let it go. And are we doing this energetically? Are we doing this chemically? Are we doing this uh, on physical levels? Are we doing this in our social life? And um, so it's very harmful and dangerous to do things that way. So this is what I'm going to suggest for people. And this isn't my suggestion. This is what I learned from Spirit from our reading together is that when you hear someone say something that you don't like or do something or anything that you don't like, instead of kind of freezing and pushing them away, it's better to remain really neutral, really relaxed, keep breathing, smile if you can. And when they say something, just stay, say, oh, I see, or okay, interesting. Um, and to remain completely neutral. So no pushing, no pulling. Now when you remain completely neutral, despite what's going on around you, you maintain your energy, okay? So you're not giving away any of your energy, meaning you're not losing your energy, you're not becoming tired, because that will create a lot of tiredness, and I know so many people suffer from that lack of energy. And so we want our energy to remain smooth, to remain neutral, despite what's going on around us, because we can't control what's going on around us, but we can control how we feel. We can, tr can control how we're breathing, the basic feeling, the state of our energy, the value of our energy. And so just remain grounded and in your body and neutral and listen to what they have to say if you want to listen and be an observer simply be present and grounded and if you want to object to what they're saying absolutely do that but do it neutrally so in other words you would say something like you know I hear what you're saying um, and this is why I think differently this is why I believe differently um, and then express yourself. So I'm staying very calm, I'm staying very neutral, and I'm not making them wrong. Because as soon as you're making someone else wrong, you're separating yourself from them, you're pushing them away. And once you've done that, you, you delete all chances of them coming around and ever hearing your side of the story. But if you allow them to be themselves, and maybe you think they're an idiot, maybe you don't, 
Maybe you agree with them, maybe you don't, but if you allow them to be who they are and to say what they need to say, and you remain calm and say, I see, and don't make them wrong, then you have not destroyed them. You have not energetically dismissed them and removed them from your um, your life, I suppose. Um, and it will allow them to interweave um, back into your life, to come in, to come out, and to maybe come in and to be open to listening to you. Because as soon as you tell someone they're wrong and make them wrong, they will close down their ability to listen to you and to be open to you because you've basically killed them energetically. And so it's, it's very important to stay as neutral and non-judgmental as possible hear what someone has to say, and then speak your truth, of course, always, um, but from a really calm point of view where you're holding your energy back, you're pulling it into your center, you're grounding yourself, you're breathing, so you're not going, blah, 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 and this is why you're wrong, because <laughs> you're energetically, you're kind of shaking them and killing them. And this is why we become so fragmented, our souls become so fragmented and, and we become tired. So we want to keep our auric field nice and clean and bright, crystal clear, and allow ourselves to be who we are, not sacrifice ourselves, but allow ourselves to be who we are, and also allow other people to be who they are. You can still, you know, create whatever boundaries you want with them and say, well, this person, um, because they believe X, Y, and Z, I wouldn't want them in my house, or I wouldn't want to have a long conversation. Um, so you can decide what you want or don't want with the person and absolutely maintain your boundaries. But again, when you decide what your boundaries are, don't completely push them out of your solar system. Don't completely exclude them. Just say, you know, um, well, I'm really glad I, um, I'm chemically sensitive, for example. So I could say if I meet someone with wearing a lot of cologne, I could say, well, I'm really glad uh, that I bumped into this person out in the fresh air and I won't be inviting them to my house. Um, but I will do so without punishing them, without saying, you're bad, you're wrong for wearing that smelly cologne that makes me sick. <laughs> I will let them be who they are. And if they want to come to my home, then I might suggest that um, they not so wear, that they wear natural detergents and, and scents um, as opposed to chemical ones. So the long and the short is try to remain as neutral as possible. And it's not just for them, it's for you because your energy level will maintain itself. It will keep renewing itself and refreshing itself. And you will not have these highs and lows. You'll, you'll, you know, because if you remain neutral, then your life is going to remain that way. And neutral is not a bad thing. It doesn't mean boring. It just means more um, smooth without um, the roller coaster ride. And you're also including more people into your circle. And you never know how people will change in the future. But if you remain neutral, you're, you're leaving an opening for them to come back and listen to you and listen to what you might have to say. All right, I hope this is helpful. Many blessings.